and did a little bit more shopping and the first place that I bought something was H&M and there's their very vibrantly colored bag. <laughs> I only got a couple little small things, nothing big, but they're so cheap in there and I've never been in one before so I just kind of had fun with it. But I got these sunglasses which were only $6.95 which is a really good deal for a good pair of sunglasses. I mean not good, like expensive, but not hugely made and I thought these looked so cute on. Most of my um, sunglasses are brown. I don't usually wear black sunglasses, but I just thought these were really dramatic and oversized and I absolutely loved them. Um, the next thing I got was this um, bracelet and it was only $4.95. It's kind of twisted up right now. I need to take it off, but it's got these um, fake rhinestones in them and this braided black part and I really loved it. Um, I wear bracelets quite a bit, so I thought that would be something cute to add to my collection. And the last thing I got were these, um, just a bunch of studs, like pearly studs. And this was only $3.95 for, I don't even know how many pair, three, six, nine, nine pair. And um, I wear these pearl earrings in my second piercing hole every day, so I really thought these would be good to get, and they were cheap, so... Um, after that, I stopped at another street vendor. Um, when my boyfriend's mom was in New York City a couple months ago, she picked me up a scarf that looks like this, except it's navy and white with like a burgundy where this red is. And I absolutely love it. So I picked up two more. I got this one, it's black, white, and red. And I thought this would go with pretty much everything. And then I got um, this hot pink one with white and then you can't really see it, but it's like a stripe of like a red going down. And I wear a lot of hot pink. Hot pink is my favorite color. It's splattered all over my room. One of my walls is painted hot pink. Um, obviously my curtains, my bedspread, everything. So I have a lot of clothes that obviously match this. Um, so those two things. Um, after that, I stopped at Juicy. Now obviously Juicy is very expensive, but I wanted to pick up a couple things because I don't get to go to Juicy very often. West Virginia doesn't have any good shopping, like, at all. The best shopping I have is TJ Maxx, and don't get me wrong, I love TJ Maxx, but let's be serious. There's nothing really that great. <laughs> um, but what I got in there was, let's get it out. Um, da -da -da. This cute little bracelet with a lip gloss on it and it was only $15 so I thought that would be really cute and it was something cheap um, and then this is what really caught my attention um, this is really really expensive if you look at a keychain you would never ever expect to pay $50 for a keychain in your life this is $48 but the only reason I splurged and got it was because I'm a senior this year and I'm graduating and it has a little 2011, a little book, and a class ring and um, I thought this was so cute. This little heart, you push it in and it'll like hold on to things or connect to your other keychain and I thought that was so cute. But the reason I splur splurged and got this was because it is my senior year and this is something that I will treasure, treasure forever like I'm always gonna remember being a senior and I just thought this was something that no matter how old I get I'll always be like that was my senior year and it's juicy so I really thought it'd be special and something I'd keep for a really long time so I splurged and spent the extra money on it um, while I was in juicy actually I thought this was so cute they gave you a free water and it says choose water with this little pink label. Like it, they always say choose juicy and they have a little choose water. And I, while I was in the store I went upstairs and I was looking around and they have all these like little doggy outfits and I was thinking of getting one for Toby but he's a boy and they were like $50 a piece and I'm like oh my gosh but they're so cute. Um, also this isn't from Juicy obviously but on another street vendor my boyfriend is like obsessed with Batman like he really is. Um, he's 20, but you know how guys are. So I got him two Batman magnets. This is the Dark Knight, and he grew up watching that movie like a bazillion times, so I thought that was cute. And the other side is just a Batman with a yellow background. So I got those for him. Um, the last place, I think so, 
Turn this around. Yeah, so the last place that I bought anything was MAC. Now, I've only been to one MAC in my life, and that was last summer down at the beach. Um, it's really hard to find eyeshadows that you're going to like online because they have pictures, but it doesn't really show to what you're really going to like. Um, sorry, there's people like randomly being creepers outside my window. Um, but I actually wound up getting a 15 palette. Now, I didn't get 15 eyeshadows, but I bought the palette and bought six individual eyeshadows to go in it. In it. And the lady that I talked to at MAC, she was so sweet. Um, I had a really good conversation with her. She really helped me out. Um, it's kind of sad, but um, never get to see her again. <laughs> but she really helped me pick out some of my eyeshadows. Let me get this out of the box. Not break it. Oh, that would be bad. Alright. Okay, so here is my MAC 15 palette. So exciting. So excited about it. And these are my eyeshadows. Oh, can't see them all. Um, this is Brulee. I can't remember all of these. All their names. There's some new. Um, and Bark. Um, let's see. Twinks. Brulee. Satin Taupe. Sable. Man, I'm getting eyeshadows everywhere. And tracks. Um I was going to get, I'm trying to remember the name of the eyeshadow, it's a little bit, it's a lot like Embark, that's the one I got to replace it, except it has a little bit more of a purple to it, but they didn't have it at the time, so I just thought I could order that one online, and it wouldn't be a big deal, but um, those are the eyeshadows I got from MAC, I'm really excited to start using them. Um, I tried to get some that were something I could wear every day, but not just like plain boring colors. Um, something that stood out and was unique to me. Um, but that's everything I got in New York City. So, yeah, that's everything. I had a really good time. I really enjoyed IMAX. Um, I'm going to try. I doubt it. But um, I might try to go to the IMAX in LA this year. If not, I really do think I'm going to go to both next year. And um, I know what to expect more now. And I'll be closer to, I probably won't drive again, but um, I'll be in Morgantown. So that'll only be about a five hour drive instead of an eight and a half hour drive from where I live. So um, I really enjoyed it and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And um, if not, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like it. Um, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.